So we're going to start today's lesson with a relatively straightforward question. Um, at this point, actually, you should be able to solve this problem in under one minute. So why don't you do that now? Um, I'm basically looking for the final velocity of this roller coaster when it reaches the bottom of a 20 meter height. So push pause. Actually, why don't you time yourself? Get out a watch. Give yourself one minute. See if you can do it. Did you make the one minute? All right, here, let me do it. So E initial equals E final. Our initial up here is gonna be our potential energy, gravitational. Our final energy at the bottom is gonna be all kinetic. We're gonna go MGH equals 1 half MV squared. Masses cancel here. And we're just gonna go ahead and solve it. So V would be equal to the square root of 2GH. Okay, when you do the math, you get 19.8 meters per second. All right, so here's kind of the new question for today. Let's say if you were to actually do this, go to a amusement park and find the velocity at the bottom using a speed gun, gun you would pr not get this number, right? You would get something less than this number. Um, and the reason is, well, as it's falling, there's going to be some friction, there's going to be some air resistance, there's going to be some sound energy. There's all kinds of ways that we're going to be losing energy on the way from here to here. So let's say in reality, let's say the coaster actually is traveling at 15. Okay. We want to know how much energy was lost. Okay, due to sound, due to um, heat, due to all these different things. So we'll start the same way, E initial equals E final. And we'll start the same way, UG equals KE. Okay. And actually, let's just go ahead and do this. MGH equals 1 half MV squared. Let's use the numbers that I gave you. So we're not going to cancel the masses here. We're just going to say 2,000 times 9.8 times our height of 20 should equal 1 half times 2,000 times our velocity squared, 15 squared. So when we do this, 2,000 times 9.8 times 20, we're going to get 3,000. 392,000 joules. So this is the energy we start with at the beginning. When we do our 1 half mv squared, we're going to get 225,000 joules at the bottom. Okay, so you can see, well, we started with 392, we ended with 225. So the question is, well, what happened? Well, we lost some energy, right? And so in our equation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's add our energy lost. So how much energy was lost? Well, we can simply subtract. So 392 minus 225 gets us 167,000 joules. That how much, that's how much energy is lost. All right, uh, just a, another quick word. Sometimes they don't ask for energy loss specifically. They might say something like how much heat was generated. You're just going to solve it the same way. Or they might ask how much work was done by friction. And again, you're just going to solve it the same way. So this would be how much work is done by friction would be the same amount of energy that gets lost.